Today, we're canning chicken, bone in, raw pack. Let's do it. So, if you saw my video a couple days ago, a week ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago, whenever I get this video put up, we can chicken like this bone in raw pack so much nicer so much nicer than doing it where we took the bones out uh we like this way too but this is a lot more work a lot more work and go watch the video for everything we did in there uh, i'll of course link that right up there but uh the time invested in doing it this way compared to this way oh it's crazy it's crazy this is huge time saver so many of you asked if we could do a video on canning it this way so here we are let's go do it all right so a big part of this project or a big reason for this project of canning this chicken is emptying out the freezer from uh, last year's chicken to make room for this year's chicken that'll be going into the freezer so we've thawed it out overnight cutting the package open draining the juices out and let's get to separating these. Now we're gonna separate the legs from the thighs because it's going to all fit into the jars easier. And here I am looking for that joint. When you find that joint, when you find that sweet spot, this is really easy. Look, oh, I kind of missed it maybe. This is my first one. First one, give me a break, there we go. All right, there it is. Boom, bam. Just like that. And we're going to leave the skin on for this canning. We did not the last time we canned it. But as a viewer pointed out, that will just leave all the extra flavor and all that from the skin. So we're going to leave it on this time. See how that comes out. See how we like it. We like it with the skin off. But we'll, we'll see how we like it with the skin on as well. Look at that. You're finding that, that joint right in there. Boom. And you go right in between. You're not cutting bone. You're not doing anything. I think this is the one I missed on. Yep, it is. See how I kind of just miss it? I'm going to go right there to the left, right in there. And it's the sweet spot. Find that wiggle spot. You eventually like, uh, don't have to really look, feel for it anymore. You kind of know where that fat line is, if you saw that fat line right there. And uh, you'll see. You'll, you'll just get a feel for it. So we also got a couple packages of wings here. Uh, I want to use the wings as fillers because last time a couple of our jars seemed a little empty to me. But Jenny has requested that we take the tip of the wing off. So if I can easily do that, I will go ahead and do it. If I can't easily do it, I won't. And uh, it's the same thing as the leg thigh. You just find that joint. You cut right into it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why Jenny wanted uh, these off, but um, we're gonna do it. Just looking for that sweet spot, and there it is. So uh, even if we don't use these as fillers, we'll just go ahead and can them anyways. Uh, so we might end up with some a couple jars just full of chicken wings, which is also, uh, if you ask me, interesting. Now we're going to cover these up, get them put in the fridge overnight. It is super late, which is why I'm doing a voiceover. It is super late, and uh, we're going to wake up in the morning and continue with canning these. At the last minute here, I decided to move these to a glass bowl. I typically would use a glass bowl. Uh, I don't know why I didn't start with one, but I decided I wanted it in a glass bowl. and we'll get these put in the fridge. It's the next morning, so let's get to canning some chicken. Alright, so I elected to hand wash these. 
Uh, we're going to be putting cold chicken in there. Uh, the canner is going to be cold when we start. We're going to bring this all up to temp together. So an important part of your canning and everything is make sure everything's sterilized, make sure everything's good to go clean. I even clean the countertop, uh, the cutting board that I'm going to have here. Um, I clean that. I just try to clean everything as much as possible. Um, especially chicken. I'm kind of weird about chicken. I want things clean. Um, so in the freezer, our packages of legs and thighs have three legs uh, and three thighs connected as you saw from last night when I cut these up. We're going to put the same thing into quart size jars to can and then I'm gonna add chicken wings if I just feel like I could make up a little bit of space I, like there's too much empty space in there I'll add some chicken wings um, get a little bit more meat off that it'll add to the broth that the the canner will naturally make so let's go load this chicken up you know there's something else that's always missing out of these videos and that is music but due to copyright laws and stuff we can't uh and well and youtube uh, uh not liking it i can't have the radio playing and as i was trying to keep things straight i grabbed four legs and two thighs so we are going to put one of these legs back and we are going to get another thigh there we go now it should work out better like I was thinking. We're just going to pack it in there, you know, however we can. Uh, now look, this jar is going to be pretty full. I'm not going to worry about putting any chicken wings in this one, I don't think. And you want one inch head space, so we're there, we're there. So this jar is good. I don't think I really need to add anything. And you're just packing in it, whatever fits. I kind of found putting a thigh in like that and then putting two drumsticks in, both with, uh, I guess, the body side downward. Fills it up pretty good in there. And then taking the next drumstick and pointing it down really fills it in uh boy this jar got full without let me see nice look at that boom Look at that. We typically also package 10 chicken wings together. Look at that. Now, these chicken wing ones are going to be interesting because this is, I think, would be really nice if this was a wide mouth jar and uh, to, to get these out. I think one subscriber said that they um, uh, gently get, get the canned wings out of this a wide mouth jar and even go place them on the uh, on the grill so anyways be interesting to see um, got another 
I can fit one, two, three, four, five. I can fit one more jar in, so I'll do another package of wings. All right, you guys know the deal. We gotta wipe the rim off, and we're gonna check for any defects, any kind of bumps we might feel, anything as we're wiping it off. We're gonna put a lid on, put the ring on. We're gonna get these into the pressure canner. The pressure canner is not on right now because I got all this cold chicken in here. So once we get all the jars in there, I'm gonna turn it, turn the pressure canner on, and let it all come up to temperature together. Ugh. That's a lot. It's really not a lot. This is easy, folks. I hope all you guys get out there and can something. Just go can something. Okay, a lot of times I just use some water or something, but most of the time I use vinegar to wipe the rims off with. Um, so, get these wiped off. I hear Jenny and the kids just got home, running some errands, getting some stuff for projects for around here. So you'll probably hear them barreling in any minute. Oh, might hear the dogs barreling out to go greet them. everything but yes some wide mouth is awesome and some more wide mouth lids because I know we're out of those we're out of jars we're too out of everything okay when you put these bands on Jenny and I have a little bit different definitions I tend to put it on I tend to put it on a lot tighter than Jenny does but it is supposed to be finger tight and maybe that's just because I don't know maybe, maybe I don't want to sound like this, but maybe I'm just a little stronger or whatever, but my finger tight and Jenny's finger tight is different. So the point is though, you do not want to be cranking on this. Uh, so I, I probably overdo it. I'm, and I'm probably, I'm very sure that that's the case, but. Okay, you also may have noticed we're not putting any liquid in here. When this goes through pressure canning, this is going to fill up with its own chicken broth. And then we'll save that broth whenever we open these jars. Uh, we'll kind of stockpile it in the freezer. Um, and then we have chicken broth. Isn't that awesome? So let's get these in the can. Earlier we put the two inches of water in here, so we are good. We are canning on a glass top stove. Jenny has read this particular stove's owner's manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are good to go to can on it. As long as it's, I think she said it has to be centered on the burner and everything. So like if she, if, if she read it correctly or whatever, like this burner would be too small, right? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't want to use that burner. This burner is big. This fits on here perfectly. So we are good to go. That's going to take forever to warm up. So... Coffee break. All right, I got another problem. As that canner is warming up and all that, it dawned on me, where am I gonna put this? See, I like things dress right dress. So like, all the pickles have to be together. All the chicken has to be together. I, and then like, I really like it if all the meats can be together. So I gotta do some rearranging so I can have everything dress right dress. It's hard to see on camera, but this is steaming like crazy right now. You gotta let that vent for um, 10 minutes. We'll put the weight on and then uh, start building pressure. We got the weight on. Faith threw that on for me. This has popped. 
That's looking good. We're going to wait till this gets up to uh, 11 pounds before we start our time. And we never hold it at 11. Um, there's lots of times that um, it's more at 15. So uh, This is should be a 15 pound weight. So it's kind of a safety deal, right? It will never get up to 20 pounds. Or shouldn't with these safety features. But that's when we start our time. And I know we haven't talked about it yet. Here's the deal. We're processing this. Bone in raw pack quartz are an hour and 15 minutes. We are setting a timer for an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down. We'll try We'll try to keep it at 11 pounds. It's not gonna happen though. Um, yeah, so. We'll say 345 is what we're aiming for. Uh, time is up. As you can see, pressure crept all the way up to 15 pounds. It always does for me. Now we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna have to let this sit here, cool all the way down to zero. Once it's down to zero, I think you're actually supposed to wait a little bit, but uh, then you pull this off and you're supposed to wait 10 minutes and then you can crack the top. So, I'm gonna go get some other stuff done. It's gonna be quite a while before this thing cools off, so. Um. While waiting on that canner to cool, I've been sinking in fence posts. That's a whole lot of fun. And when I say we have chicken that needs canning, this is what I mean. 125 meat birds right here. I don't know if you guys are following along with our progress on this this year, but we have an update coming out real soon. But at least 70 of these we're keeping and selling 25, or however that math comes out. I'm sorry, selling 55. But yep, this is where we raised meat birds last year, and that's what we're canning today, is last year. It is down to zero. Take this off. It's supposed to wait 10 minutes, and I will, to be correct, I'll wait 10 minutes. All right, been 10 minutes. Ooh, goodness. All right, we gotta let these sit here for uh, at least 12 hours. Most things say 24 or 12 to 24 hours. So we'll leave them here until tomorrow morning and we'll go put them on the shelf. All right, here they are. We got them on the shelf. It's these seven. Two of them are wings. They look good. And you can see skin on compared to skin off. This is what we had previously done. All right, so that's canning chicken bone in. This is gonna be nice. We do our 70 meat chickens since we do three legs, three thighs per jar. I think I have that figured out to be roughly 23 jars that we'll be adding just from the meat birds out there that you saw earlier in the video. So good stuff. I have lots, lots of meat on the shelf here. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you got something out of this or at least enjoyed watching it. So you guys have a good one. Take it easy. Thanks a lot.